Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be filming a video on this look. If you're interested in seeing how I do this, please continue watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment down below. So I'm using my flexi hand from the Glitter Planet and I'm using this gorgeous colored acrylic from CJP, which is called Perfect Peach and it's a core powder, which means you do not require um, capping this color because it's just, it, it's got its own strength. Um, so I'm starting off with a medium bead, which I was supposed to start off with a large bead just because I was going to cover the entire nail, but you'll see how I fix it in a second. So basically, as you can see, I'm basically just patting that acrylic onto place, kneading up the cuticle area, and then just pressing into that product, trying to pull it down towards the tip. And then I grabbed another bead, which is like a medium bead as well, applied it closer to the cuticle area, blended it towards the back, and now I'm just basically pushing the side walls of that bead, and then just, you know, making that cut design type of look with my brush. So I am basically just using my brush to neaten up that line, but I'm not too fussed at this stage because I will be coming back with a hand file to make that line nice and straight. And because this um, color decor acrylic is a core powder. I am coming in with more product just so I can cover up that mistake that I did. You can see there was a harsh line in the middle and also I want to build my apex with this color because as I said it does not require any capping and basically capping means encapsulating with clear acrylic. So I'm doing the same thing. I am just walking that bead towards the tip and at this stage again i am not worried about the cut design because we are coming back to file it but you want to make sure that that cut design is quite thick thick enough for you to apply the color where the gap is and thick enough for you to uh, be able to file it Now I'm coming in with a colored acrylic which is lemon fizz and clear and I'm just double dipping in both powders. So I basically just dipped my brush into my monomer, into the um, lemon fizz which is the neon yellow and into the clear to get this look. And I'm using quite wet beads so that the colors can blend together without me having to do anything. And I am basically just placing it at random uh, because the beads are quite um, runny, it is going to cause like a streaky look, which I was looking for. So make sure you work quite wet when you do this because you are, you're going to get the best result. And as you can see now, when I'm looking at the nail from the other view, I can see there's a little gap where I needed to add a little bit of neon. So I just pick up neon by itself and I basically just apply it and blend it to where I want it to be. So for the acrylic system, I am using my CJP acrylic system and I'm using the, um, the 1.2 monomer, which is amazing because it allows you to work with that product. It's not too runny. So when I apply the product, it doesn't just run everywhere and I can control it. And I also still have a lot of time to play with it. So it doesn't dry on me dead quick. So as you can see, I apply um, lemon fizz right in the middle of the nail and then just let gravity do its work. So I pull the finger towards, you know, like looking downwards and that way the product will run towards the tip and before it like dries completely I like to flip my brush and then just blend that bead um, into the middle of the nail to basically get a seamless blend when I come to do my ombre and then I just neaten up the tip using the sides of my brush now i'm using lemon curd and i'm going to apply that closer to the cuticle area this is a pre-mixed glitter so it's glitter mixed with um acrylic and it's got like really really pretty um neon shards so i thought this would go perfect with the color that i'm using 
and yeah i'm just going to apply it closer to the cuticle area and then just blend it towards the tip i don't want to drag it too too low because i still wanted that ombre effect that glitter fade so i'm basically just grabbing the smaller shards or the smaller glitter and blending it towards the tip I also want to mention that I am so sorry but the um, camera is not doing the color justice. The colors are a lot brighter than what they appear on camera so I do apologize for that. I wish I could do something about it but I will be upgrading um, and getting a new camera so hopefully that would work best. So as you can see I'm doing the same thing on the pinky. I'm applying lemon fizz um, on the middle of the nail and then letting gravity do its work and then I neaten up the tip and blend the middle of the nail. Before I come to apply my cover color, I wait for that neon color to dry just because I don't want them to mix. And then once it's dried, I basically come in with my back color and I'm using the same perfect peach from um, um, CJP. And the first one, I'm just applying it where that um, neon ends and then I'm just blending it towards where I want it where I want the blend to end then I'm coming in with a second bead on top of the first one and I'm just applying as many beads as I want to get the coverage that I'm looking for So now I'm coming in with my 180 hand file and I'm just filing that cut design to make it as straight as possible. That way it looks nice when you come to apply the color where the gap is. And for the color, I will be using um, lemon curd and I'm only just going to apply it where the gap is. I'm not overlapping that perfect peach. I'm basically just filling in that gap. And then after that, I will come back to encapsulate all of the nails. So I am encapsulating all of the nails with my clear acrylic and I'm using my Neo Nails clear acrylic and I'm basically just building my apex as well as the thickness at the tip with all of the nails apart from the middle finger because like I said before, I did use a core powder so I don't need to cap that. I will only encapsulate where the design is or where the glitter is. So once the nails are dried, I am going to be using my smooth top fine drill bit from Glitter Planet and I'm just going to file all of the nails, moving my drill from sidewall to sidewall and then just going on the surface of the nail to get a smooth um, surface. And I like using this bit because it is a safety bit which means it minimizes cuts. So I like using it on myself as well as clients and it also goes close to the cuticle area but I always like to take that extra step especially Especially when I'm doing clients' nails to use a carbide drill that is not a safety bit and um, I basically just go as close as I can to the cuticle area but with this one it really really does the job for you so I highly recommend it so I am also showing you a different technique that I do which is moving the drill up and down and that way you can do this on longer nails because sometimes I find it difficult to do the technique that I'm doing right now so moving the drill from one side to the other when you have long nails so if you struggle doing that just basically move it up and down and you will get a really good surface 
but anyway after that i am using my hand pile and i'm going to reshape all of the nails to get that nice crisp coffin shape as you can see i did not do a lot of filing here because my application was quite neat therefore you want to make sure when you apply your acrylic you look at your nails from different angles as well as brushing the sides of your tip to get that shape looking nice and crisp and that way when you come back to file the nails with your hand file it will take um, less time for you to do this and you will also get a crisp look. And now I'm coming in with my top coat which is Super Gloss from Glitter Planet and I'm just going to apply that on all of the nails and that's basically the end of this video. I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to add me on Instagram. I would love to interact with you guys there as well as here. So if you have any requests for my next video, please leave them at the comments section. I also love interacting with you guys. I love reading your comments. So don't forget to do that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in my next video.